Hey gents, today we're taking a look at my recent order of two shirts from Twillery. Now Twillery is known for having non-iron shirts that are formaldehyde free. I had no idea that there was formaldehyde in a typical non-iron shirt, but apparently there is. That really seems to be the message that Twillery is going after. Not only are they eliminating the middleman and going directly to us consumers so that they give, give us great prices on high quality shirts, but their smart cotton doesn't use any chemicals in order to give us a non-iron feel. So I'm here to put that to the test. As you know, I've been unboxing a ton of dress shirts, so if you want to see more about those, I'll put a playlist together of the best dress shirts that I've unboxed. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do so you can learn about the best menswear on the internet. This is the type of thing that I typically cover. Give a thumbs up for looking great in your office wear and getting the best bang for your buck. If you do want to pick up anything from Twillery, I will link in the description below to my referral that will give you an extra free shirt when you order your shirt. So Twillery here, they have their shirts listed for about $100, but they always run promotions that you can get some sort of uh, deal. I ordered these two shirts, I paid $100 for them because they added an extra one in. So the shirts range about $100 to $50, depending on the promotion that you use. I do like this right out of the box. They have a prepaid uh, return label right here so that if the shirts uh, don't work, but they also have a bag in here where you can send in uh, used dress shirts for their repurpose initiative, which that's pretty neat. Here's the two shirts that I ordered. This is their non-iron safe cotton. I've been pretty into the pink recently, so I have uh, these two shirts here. And this is a 15 and a half 34, 33 tailored fit. This is the size that I typically order from a dress shirt and they have the nice modern collars on here. I also threw in, uh, this was 10 bucks, they, they have these brushed nickel collar stays that are standard inside of their shirts, but they will offer to throw you in another one of these because I wear so many dress shirts. It's nice to have this type of thing around. The shirt feels pretty good. There's always a certain uh, weight and feeling to a higher quality shirt versus a lower quality shirt. And uh, this definitely has that more premium feel. I would say in a blind test, I'd be able to pick out that this was a, uh, a nicer shirt, 100% cotton, made in Vietnam, safe cotton. Yeah, so they, they call out on here, until now formaldehyde has been the active ingredient in non-iron shirts. That's bad because it's a toxic chemical used to embalm mummies, amongst other things. We have engineered the first non-irons that are completely formaldehyde free. So let's get this on, talk about the fit, talk about the feel. Well, my initial impressions are that I have a new dress shirt brand that I'm a huge fan of. These feel like $100 shirts. Some shirts will have a heavier or lighter weight to the cotton. These have a very nice medium weight feel, not too thick and heavy, but not too thin and light like some of my other dress shirts. They got the fit right, 15 and a half is my typical neck size, that fits well perfect length in the sleeves, and a nice tailored fit. I also like on these shirts that the placket is a standard, they call this like the American placket, which is where you can see uh, both sides of the trim here. The Hue and Cry shirt that I was wearing at the top of the video has what they consider a French placket, which I always associate with cheaper shirts. I don't think that is really the case though. I think it's because a lot of the shirts that I was buying from H&M in the past had that French placket, but I'm, I'm more of a fan of, of the American one, and that's what these Twillery ones have. Uh, the pink, I like the color of the pink as well. A key feature of these Twillery shirts that I like as well, and this is something that Leadberry always leads with, is that the placement of this first button is very important on a dress shirt. If it's too low and you unbutton the top button, you're showing too much chest for a more conservative work environment and not everybody wears ties anymore. And so the placement of this is really perfect where I can leave this top one undone. I'm not showing too much of my neck or chest. And so if I want to wear it buttoned with a tie or unbuttoned and look a little bit more casual, then it's a really good placement for these. What I've noticed with non-iron shirts is that you'll still get a lot of the creases and wrinkles, especially around your waist. When you take it off, they aren't just going to go away. You will have to iron them in some way, but out of the box, uh, you still can see some of these creases, so it's not the most powerful non-iron. Keep in mind there is a difference between wrinkle-free and non-iron. When I pull this shirt out, you can see some of the fold lines here. I have very few shirts in my collection anymore that aren't in some way a non-iron shirt or wrinkle-free shirt, but the weight of this cotton feels very good, like it will have enough structure in order to work out some of the wrinkles as you just wear it on a daily basis. I am a big fan of just little details about these shirts. If you were to wear these Twillery shirts untucked, they have a little T, a very subtle T down on the inside flap of the shirt and uh, 
you saw, if you saw my untuck it review, you know that there are shirts that are designed to be untucked. These ones aren't too long. I have a few dress shirts from Charles Turret and from the tie bar that are extra long to stay tucked in. These ones have a nice medium length where they will stay tucked in, but they're not too long that you would look silly if you were wearing this untucked. All of their shirts come with these brushed nickel uh, collar stays. Now I have a few collar stays that are metal from uh, the tie bar, but they're a very thin stainless steel. These are like a hefty, hefty nickel material. They have a little design on the back. These are nice to have because you can put these in any dress shirts. They're standard in the collars whenever you order a dress shirt from Twillery, but you can also throw in, uh, there's six of these in a box for $10. And um, you know, it's nice, especially if you have any shirts that have the little plastic ones, throwing these in there just ups your game a little bit. There you have it, gents. I'll be putting these through its paces, dry cleaning them, seeing how they hold up over time, and checking with you to let you know, which is a good tip for you if you want your dress shirts to have longevity. Definitely dry clean them, take care of them, and invest in the shirts that you should be spending money on. Stick around on the channel because I am doing my dress shirt roundup. Just in the last week, I've received Kamakura, Hue and Cry, Spectre, uh, I got Twillery, I've got all my other dress shirts that I've been working on. And so stick around for the best dress shirts and overall menswear on the internet. And I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe for the giveaway that I kicked off. I'll put a link up here where we're giving away $700 worth of technical fabric clothing as a thank you to all my subscribers. We're gonna have four winners on that. Very excited. If you have any questions about Twillery, the company, or the shirts themselves, leave a comment below or you can reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.